The United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund, UNICEF, said it was relieved that 91 adopted students of Salih Tanko Islamia School, Tegina, in Niger State, Nigeria, have regained their freedom. This was announced in a statement by Samuel Kalu, the Communications Specialist, UNICEF Kano Field Office. The International Children's Agency, however, condemned the death of one child while in captivity, saying that no family should lose a child just because it took the right decision to send that child to school. The children spent eight, eight days in the hands of the abductors before they were released. The agency said further that schools and children should not be a target because education is a fundamental right of every child and any attack on an educational institution is a violation of that right. UNICEF reiterated calls to authorities to take all necessary measures to ensure schools are safe for all children. The international body pledged to continue to work with partners to provide mental health, psychosocial support and counselling services to both the freed learners and their parents. It will be recalled that about 200 heavily armed men in May invaded the town of Tegina in Niger State and kidnapped 136 students from the private Muslim school, Salih Tanko. Since December, Nigeria has suffered a series of mass kidnappings at schools and universities. Six of the Tegina students died in captivity and 15 others managed to escape in June, according to the school's management. Kamil Sadiq, CBA TV, Nigeria.